Hey y'all, you might have seen the title of this video and thought, what does he even mean by that? How are you going to be making Windows look like Linux? Well, today I'm going to be showing you how to emulate my current Windows setup, which I've configured to resemble a Linux distro. The configuration we're going to be covering today includes your terminal, customizing NeoVim, and adding useful tools and plugins to make your workflow fun and efficient. If you follow this video through to the end, you'll have a sleek, functional and personalized Windows setup. Cool, let's get into it. Before diving into the customization, we're gonna go ahead and install a few necessary tools to start up our environment. The first of these tools is Microsoft Power Toys. The main reason for installing this is to use the run feature it comes with, which allows users to easily navigate their computer with only their mouse. The second of these tools is the Windows Terminal. This is a terminal emulator developed in C++ that supports multiple panes, advanced customizations, and Unicode support. Now, we're going to be tweaking the Windows terminal settings to make it look clean and modern, using features like acrylic effects and a minimalist color scheme. In this setup, I use one half dark, but I also switch between Dracula. And to be honest, it's up to you what you choose to use. You can experiment with different opacity levels to suit your preference. I rock 60%, but feel free to change this around your needs. The next change I'm going to be showing you how to make is automatically hiding your taskbar, which in my opinion creates a much cleaner and less distracting desktop environment. Up next, I'm going to show you where you can download my wallpaper that I use in my setup from my GitHub repo. I should note that you can use whatever wallpaper you like, however I think the one I'm using is really nice and I've been mean, rocking it for a while now. I should note that in this video I'm not actually going to show you how to change the wallpaper as I'm assuming you already know how. Next up, we're going to be installing a nerd font which is a special kind of font that includes glyphs and icons that improve the visual experience in our terminal and editor. Coming back to PowerShell now, let's go change the font over. In my case, I choose to use Cascadia Cove Nerd Font Mono, however once again, you can choose to use whatever font you like. Make sure to save your changes once you've altered these settings. Next up, we're going to be installing NeoVim, a powerful and customizable text editor perfect for coding and scripting. And don't worry if you're new to any of this, I'm walking you through each step.
We're now gonna be configuring our init.vim file, which is where we define the behavior and look of NeoVim, and includes things like our key bindings, plugins, and color schemes. You're gonna to wanna to first create an nvim directory in your local folder. I've already got one in this case, but feel free to run the make dir nvim command. This folder will be empty when you first open it up. However, I'll show you next up where to go to grab the code that you're going to be pasting in. Once you've copied all that code, paste it back in our init.vim file and make sure to save once you leave. To save in Vim, it's a little different than other text editors. What you're going to want to do is press the escape key followed by the colon key and then do W and Q to write and quit. Plug is the next thing we need to install, and is a plugin manager for NeoVim that makes installing and updating plugins really easy. Cool, let's get on to installing Git, which is gonna be allowing us to clone repos and manage version control, and is a necessary dependency for completing this setup. We're now going to be installing node.js, 
And you might ask, why are we installing some kind of JavaScript library? And the reason for this is because some of our NeoVim plugins depend on it for advanced functionality. Next up, we're going to be installing Chocolaty, which is a package manager for Windows. Once we've got Chocolaty installed, we can now install NVM, which is short for Node Version Manager, which makes it easy to switch between different versions of Node.js. Yarn is a package manager that's faster and more efficient for handling JavaScript dependencies. Up next, we're going to install COC Python, short for Conqueror of Completion. This provides intelligent features like auto-completion and linting, making the coding experience in Python Envim much smoother. WinFetch generates system info to display on your terminal, which in my opinion adds a really nice touch to our setup. I originally added this in as I really wanted to execute NeoFetch on my Windows machine. <laughs> oh my posh allows us to customize our PowerShell prompt to show useful info like git status and system details, and otherwise just make our prompt look really nice.
Next up, we're going to be covering some quality of life features. The first of these is terminal icons, which make file navigation much more visually interesting and intuitive. The final piece of the puzzle is PS Readline, which in my opinion is the greatest thing since sliced bread, as it allows for auto-completion within the terminal. That's it for my Windows machine configuration. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions for improving the setup. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.